Well, hello everyone, it's Pastor Michael here. Uh, we're gonna get into the message in a few minutes. Before we do that, I'll let you know a few things going on. You know, to begin with, uh, one of the challenges that we're dealing with is just not being able to gather right now. Trying to find some ways that we can still interact. So we started up something that on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m., if you go to our Cross Point Alliance Facebook page, uh, myself, Kay, and other special guests will be going live for uh, 15, 20 minutes to take a time to share news, share what God is teaching us, and to hear from you, to share comments that you give us about things that God is teaching you, things you're praising God for. Some of you have already been a part of that. If you haven't, we want to encourage you. 10 a.m. Sunday mornings, join us for Cross Point Live. Also, we want to celebrate that work's continuing on the construction project. Drywall's going up, we're redoing the entrance. Uh, Kay, Brad, the rest of the building team, they've been doing an incredible job working hard. The construction workers have been working hard. Uh, we have volunteers have been coming in to help out with cleanup, and we just want to celebrate that. Uh, we made a video highlighting the work. And, uh, go on our Facebook page, check that out to see what's happening. And we can't wait to see how God's going to continue to bless that project, continue to provide, and how God's going to use that to expand his kingdom. Also, um, if you go on our website uh, under sermon videos, under this video, we do have some resources for worship, links to videos to help aid you in worship time this morning. I'll have a message in a few minutes, but first a, a word from Ryan Rustad. So, Ryan, I'm handing it off to you, and I'll see you all in a few minutes. Hello, Crosspoint. This is Ryan Rusted. Glad to be with you here today. I'm just going to talk a little bit about just all of the uncertainty that we've been facing just in the last several weeks with the COVID-19 outbreak and, and not knowing what's going to happen next. Uh, there's just so much uncertainty. I've seen it just in my job over the last couple of weeks, helping customers, calming them down, just doing all that. Um, but I really want all of you to know that when we have these times of uncertainty, the one thing that is certain is God. And we got to do everything to trust God. We need to follow him. We need to just trust in, in what he's going to do and what his plan is for us and, and just keep following, keep in the word. And one of the things that I want to talk about is just remembering what's important you know trusting god and trusting god with our money and i'm here to just talk about how important it is to to make sure that our giving um, is consistent our tithes and i just have some scripture i wanted to share with you it's from leviticus chapter 27 verse 30. one tenth of the produce of the land, whether grain from the fields or fruit from the trees, belongs to the Lord and must be set apart to him as holy. What this means is that, you know, there's, there's many principles regarding sacrifices and tithes, and they were intended to encourage inward attitudes as well as outward actions. If a person gives grudgingly, it's, he shows that they're not giving from the heart. They're not cheerful about giving. We need to be cheerful about giving. And that leads me into uh, Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. And what it says there is, You must each decide in your heart how much to give, and don't give reluctantly or in response to pressure. For God loves a person who gives cheerfully. So Crosspoint, you look at what we've got going on. we got just great messages from Pastor Michael and, and Kay, just just awesome messages about God's love and, and just, you know, remind us to get in the Word and, and just grow closer to Him. You look at the building that's going up. It's, we've got workers that are still working every day, working hard, getting this up, getting this ready so that when we can come back together, we're going to have a place where our youth can, can share that space, our, our members, our, our church family can come and, and rejoice in, in God's Word together again. And I just really, I just really think about this scripture and how important it is that we continue to give, so that we have a church that can help the lost, that can bring the lost to to Jesus, that we can help them find their way. And the scripture really, really explains that tithing is an important part of faith for those who follow God. And secondly, your tithe should be 
money you set aside first. For all of you that do a budget, um, the first category should be, you know, your giving. And then from there, your needs, and then anything left over, maybe you could consider to give even more. I just really want you to all think about that. We've got some awesome things happening at Crosspoint, and I know we can't all be together, but if we can keep supporting all the good that's happening by our giving, our giving to the general fund, our giving to the building fund, you know, keeping our pledges going, we are going to, we're just going to bring in so many more people. We're going to bring in so many more people and they're going to find God, know God, and follow him. It's just going to be awesome. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks.